Hi sunshine friends. I want to show you a really fun technique you could use at home to make beautiful paintings. So I'm gonna set my camera down so I can show you my materials. There, I hope you are all able to see it. So I have a coffee filter paper here. If you don't have coffee filter paper at home, you can use paper napkins or paper towels. I folded my paper in half and then drew half a heart here. That way I will cut it and I will have a heart shape filter. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You can use just a circle or you can cut into whatever shape you'd like. But I wanted to do a heart. I also have markers here and I have a cup of water here. And I'm using an oil cloth so that I don't get my chalky messy. So, first, I'm going to cut my heart up. There you go. Here's my heart. Some of you might remember this from the fall time because we made leaves using the same exact technique. So first I'm going to go with purple and you want to make a circle in the middle. There you go. And you can color around the circle and you want to leave that space there. Don't color in that little space. Um, and I'm going to go with maybe you just do blue. Hope you're able to see this. Yep. So I would put some blue around my purple. And then I will use some green. try the orange oh well there's not a lot of orange left in this marker I'm gonna see if I can grab a new one here let's try if this orange one works yep this one works a lot better the fun part about this is that you can use whatever color you'd like you can really experiment with the colors and then maybe I will do another hmm, some more blue. And try some more yellows. I mean, not yellow, <laughs> orange. And put some purple at the end here. Okay. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try to cover up the rest of this here too. So it depends on what shape you cut out, and it depends on how large your filter paper is. If your paper is very small, you won't have to use up as much markers. But if your paper is slightly bigger like mine, you might have to cover up the whole sheet. Okay, let's try this yellow here. This yellow is also not working. That's okay. I think I will just keep repeating my colors. I'll use another green. And go all the way around. And paint the rest of that. Make that green a little bit thicker. And now I'm going to go back to using the blue here. There. Blue. And I think I'm just going to.
going to use one last color. I'm going to go with orange here. I'm going to paint the remaining white parts here. I mean, not paint, <laughs> color. There. Now, I am satisfied with that. And now what you're going to do, you are going to fold your paper in half. And then, now that I have it in half, I'm going to fold it in half one more time, making sure that, remember that white circle that we had initially done in the middle? We want that to be in the center. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half again. And then I'm going to fold it in that in half again. There you go. So you should have what looks almost like a triangle, right? Almost, except it's curved down here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my water. I'm going to insert this into the water. So here we go. This is my favorite part. This is the fun part. You can slowly watch the uh, coffee filter absorb the water and the water absorbs into the markers. And if you wanted, you could also turn it upside down because water flows downwards and that means the water spreads a lot faster on the paper. Can you see it? Oh, that looks so beautiful. I can tell that it's not quite absorbed yet because I still see that this part's not wet. So I'm going to dip it in again. And then I'm going to turn it upside down again. This requires a lot of patience, friends. Okay. There you go. I'm just going to tap off the excess water and now I'm going to open my coffee filter up. So because I use a lot of different colors, it turned out darker than I wanted it to, but that's okay. I'm going to try to do a second one using different colors. So that's how mine turned out like. You can sort of see the rings of colors that I had done. So you get to experiment with this and see what you can come up with. If you do do this project, make sure to send your beautiful artwork to Melanie and Alana so that they can show all your teachers too. I hope you had fun doing artwork with me today. I miss you all. Bye, friends.